Welcome to Rooster TV. Today we're joined by our new captain, Clint Alloway. Clint, first question the fans will want to know is, how have you settled into the captaincy? I'm enjoying it so far. It's been a few extra commitments, such as uh, attending board meetings and uh, a few extra things on the weekend. But generally, um, the guys have been very good. We're well supported by a, a, a good core group of, uh, of leaders as well at the footy club who are all um, making the job quite easy. And Clint, with the, with the new captaincy and uh, your sidekick, uh, Jimmy Allen, as a new vice-captain, we've got a new coach, new assistant coaches. Even yours truly is pretty new to the footy club. How have they all settled in? How have you seen the change in, um, in coaches and styles and, and, uh, and footy in general? I think it's been a, a genuine um, brush through the place in, in a lot of regards. Josh has obviously been guided by his assistants, but even his assistants haven't been here long. So um, from, from the footy manager yourself down, there's been no one to really sort of guide him. So everyone's got a pretty fresh start, and I think that's really uh, boded well for the preseason. Guys have a real genuine feel of... Uh, potential of what they can achieve for the year and, and they're not coming to the season with any pre-cast or, or pre-judged um, opinions of them. So yeah, no, it's, it's been really exciting so far. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree with that. Having been to all the training sessions, I think the boys are really, are really upbeat um, and new faces can do that. Included in the new faces, of course, is that we have a number of new players. Um, we've had a few retired, of course, and a few departed, but I think uh, there's an excitement around the place with a number of new players that we have. Um, who, who out of the new players do you see having an impact this year? Uh, I see Todd Miles slotting straight into centre half back. He's been really impressive in, in all three of the trials so far. Um, and I just think that he's going to be a really valuable asset for us because we, we've sort of lacked that gorilla type defender who can stand on the, on the bigger blokes uh, in, the, in the SNFL. Um, I think obviously Brett Backwell with his leadership and some of his explosive run through the midfield once he gets himself right um, will be exciting to have at the footy club. And, uh, and coupled in with Andy Lee sort of as a, as a versatile forward back, he's sort of, he's sort of shown he's able to do it um, at both ends so far. Look, I think, uh, look, I agree with all of that. Friday night, um, our first trial last week against Norwood, I thought, of, apart from your good self, who shone like a beacon, um, who, do you think, who do you think showed something in that game? Not so, not so much the new players, but also you know, some of the tried and true performers of the Roosters. Uh, I think um, Max Thring, who, as much as he's, he's sort of been at the club a year, he's sort of really come of age and over this pre-season, and, and Jimmy Allen's taking him right under his wing. Uh, so little Max, he looks like he's going to sort of hopefully fill a bit of a gap for us as a small forward and, and rotate into the midfield. Um, he's tried performers. I'm trying to think who else there might have been. I mean, David Hill was sort of good in, the, in nice and service from the ruck, and obviously Akers appears to be moving much better this time this year than what he was a year ago. Look, I thought it was great to see uh, Henry White for example, um, I thought he played well. Um, look, I thought Lee Riswick was, was good as well, um, just to throw my two bobs worth it. But, we, but of course we couldn't get past the five goals out of centre half forward by you. Always handy. <laughs> now, just I guess a, a last couple of things in summary. Um, your expectations for us this year, I mean, uh, we've seen Josh in the media uh, you know, quite openly say that he, he's not really sure and I, and I think we agree with that. With, with new players, new coaches and new game style. We're going to have to wait and see. But look, the feeling's good. How do you see the expectations of this year? Oh, certainly. I, I, my message to the boys at quarter time was that, you know, it's sort of like you could breathe a sigh of relief and that, you know, all the work we've been doing over the off-season, we're not, we're not going to be far off. You know, I mean, we, we did play some good footy and we showed that we're, we're going to be competitive this year. Um, the competition seems to be up and down and the results that they're, they're putting out this time of year, which is always sort of the case. But certainly I expect that, you know, having, having put in a, a reasonable effort uh, on Friday night against the grand finals from last year, that we're, we should be really expecting some improvements over the year. Yep, no, I, I, I think that's fair enough. I thought the way the game unfolded, I thought up to half time it was, a, it, was a, it was a good game of footy for a trial game and we were obviously well in it, as they were. And... Uh, uh, after a slow third quarter, I thought our last quarter, the fact that we didn't fall over and we came back uh, would have given the players a lot of confidence, fitness-wise, because pre-season, as we know, has been fairly terrifying for most. Yeah, definitely. Every, every side's going to want to be saying and spruiking about how fit they're feeling this time of year, and, and to have that put into, into match practice does give you genuine confidence, rather than just talking about it and saying, you know, we've done more than everyone else and you've done that. You know, to actually to, to put in a really good last quarter, which probably, in fairness, the last couple of years haven't been our strongest points, was, it was a nice start to the year. Now, um, look, all the SNFL clubs are uh, you know, chomping at the bit for round one. I mean, that's what it's all about. And we play West Adelaide here at Prospect. And, of course, we hope to reverse round one from last year, which was uh, a bit of a fizzer for our footy club. Out of the clubs, apart from our, 
Well, apart from our boys, you know, who do you see as being the, the, maybe the two or three hardest teams to beat this year? Uh, I mean, there's been a fair bit of talk about the Eagles. They seem to have recruited quite well, and on top of it, they haven't lost as, as many players. Often, this preseason feels like it's been more about the number of players that a number of clubs have lost. You know, with Central's having a few retirements and Norwood having quite a number of guys drafted, uh, the Eagles seem to have consolidated their list and added a couple to it. So they sort of seem to be up there along with Glenelg. Um, and I'm, and I'm sure that the sides down the bottom are going to be more competitive than perhaps what they have been in the last couple of years. Yeah, it certainly bodes for a, a real exciting season, I think. I agree. I think um, there's some exciting new players. And we have actually seen a number of SNFL players cross clubs into other SNFL uh, players. You know, we, we've picked up a few and lost a few in that process, and just about every other club has. Uh, thanks for coming in. Uh, all the best for the season. No doubt I'll be seeing plenty of you, and hopefully our supporters will be too. No worries. Thanks a lot, guys.